In the next few minutes, you will see a screencast of my scheduler simulation program. But first, let me show you the input that we are going to be using here. So this is exactly the same numbers uh, you see on my web page. So we have three jobs here. First one arrives at time 3, second one arrives at time 5, and the third one arrives at time 6. And the next number following the arrival time tells you the number of CPU bursts. So 2, 8, and 4 are the CPU bursts of the first job, and 5 and 7 are the IO bursts of um, the first job. So now let me run my program here. So I have to specify the input file name and then quantum time. So what you see on the screen now is uh, the sim current simulation time and uh, the system quantum time and the second row down here uh, I'm going to be using this uh, area for um, status update and this is the ready queue and the ready queue is empty, CPU is idle, IO device is also idle, nothing is in the IO queue and the three processes are listed down here. You can see the CPU burst, IO burst of each process. In the simulation you will see new processes will be created and uh, they will enter the ready queue coming this way and if the CPU is idle and of course um, that job will be dispatched and if a process is preempted it will go back to the ready queue going that path and if process is uh, making an IO operation it will go to the IO queue and to the IO device and it will stay in the IO device uh, forever how long it will need there and then if the IO is done then uh, the process will go back to the ready queue Okay, so let me um, just start my uh, simulation now. Okay, so now you just uh, saw like you have two processes and process 1, process 0, process 0 is uh, doing its I.O. and the I.O. is currently idle. So if you look at um, the update to the CPU burst now we can see the first burst is gone and the um, process 0 will be doing the IO operation for 5 units and let me continue so now you can see that um, the IO burst of process 0 is updated so later in the future you will see that process 0 uh, will go back to the ready queue and now in the meantime, we see a new process, a uh, process 2, in the system here. Process 1 was just preempted from the CPU and it is back to the ready queue. Since process 2 was at the head of the ready queue, it was dispatched to use the CPU. So now we have uh, process 2 using the CPU and process 0 um, on the IO device. So process 0 just completed it, I, its I.O. operation, it is back to the ready queue. And this cycle will keep going. So process 1 is done, it will be out of the system soon, and next process 0 will be running in the CPU. And if you look at the update to the CPU burst of process 2 and the IO burst of process 2, process 0 will be done soon. Process 2 is preempted. And remaining CPU burst of process 0 is just one unit. So next, yep, process 0 is done now. So we have only one process, process 2, and you can see the update to the CPU burst. One unit, and then IO operation for five units, and then six units, three units, and then 
we are done.